Listen, first quarter waxing gibbous. Phases of the moon. Full moon winding gibbous. Last quarter winding crescent. Phases of the moon. Okay, so for this demonstration, I decided to do it on the faces of the moon since I just gave a whole lesson plan on it last week in the practicum. So what I used was this book called Hide and Seek Moon, The Faces of the Moon, which is a really great book because it explains to kids in simple terms and with great graphics the reason that the moon changes shape and how long it takes. One of the things that introduces the topic of the moon right away is that the moon does not create its own light. It reflects light from the sun. So the part that we see lit in the moon, it's simply the reflection of the sun's light, not the moon itself, which is pretty interesting, especially for kids. So what I did in my lesson was I read them the book, and then we answered some questions, and then I had them do an activity where they had to use rainbow scratch paper, which is this piece of black paper. It looks just like a simple black paper but it's actually rainbow underneath. So what the kids did where I gave them the paper on this something to scratch out with and they had to scratch out circles just like I did. Mine's cut off but it should have been eight circles and then what they had to do was scratch out each face of the moon. So for this one that I started, it was supposed to be the third quarter moon. So I split it in half since the third quarter moon, it's split in half. And then you will shade in the left side of the circle. And it will look like this. And the whole paper should look like this. So we have the sun over here giving its light that way and the faces of the moon go up counterclockwise. So we have new moon where we don't see any moon at all. We have the watching crescent. Watching means getting bigger since we go from no seeing nothing to seeing that little crescent shape moon. It means it's getting bigger. Then we move into the first quarter which even though it's split in half, it's not called half moon, it's called quarter moon. And then we move on to the wet and gibbous. Here you can barely see it, but it's not entirely a full moon. Gibbous means it's more than half. So more than half of the moon is lit. Then we go to the full moon where you see the full circle shaded in. And then we go down to the waning gibbous and waning means getting smaller so we went from it being completely shaded to only more than half of it being shaded and then we're going down to the last quarter which is again looks like it's half but it's called the last quarter or the third quarter and then we move into waning crescent because now it's only that little part that's shaded and we start all over again at the new moon and that takes about 29 and a half days. So I really like this activity and the kids really like it too because they get to scratch out their own phases of the moon.